It's the second car that PO Engineering put into production. They started with the three-wheeler P50, which was a single-seater car, and obviously there was a demand, they thought, for a two-seater, so they designed a completely different looking car, which is the Trident, and it's the same engine as the P50, a 50cc DKW moped engine, but it provided two seats and um, a bit of space for shopping behind the seats. Um, otherwise, it, mechanically, it's very similar to the P50. And of course, like the P50, it's a three-wheeler. It's a fiberglass body. It's quite innovative because um, it's a completely different concept from the um, bubble cars that were made by companies like Assetta in the 1950s. Uh, partly because of the dome, which makes you feel as if you're driving along in a goldfish bowl. Well, certainly people did use them every day in the 1960s, and I think a lot of people probably found it an improvement. It was marketed by PO Engineering as a saloon scooter, and I think that slogan was probably aimed at people who'd got fed up getting wet or cold or both on motorcycles and scooters. And here was a, a light vehicle cheap to run, where they could have some weather protection. It's probably not much fun to drive nowadays, but it was practical transport in the 1960s. I know of um, one man on the island who certainly used to use it for work. One of the advantages was that you could drive it in those days on a motorcycle license because it was a three-wheeler. You didn't have to have a car license. And also, PO Engineering would sell a version which had a box in the place of the passenger seat to convert it into a one-seater. And in that case, like the P50, it could be driven on a provisional license unaccompanied. It has an unusual and innovative body for a car of its type in that the part of the body, certainly the front part of the body, plus the plexiglass roof all hinges forward. It was more usual certainly on the larger bubble cars to have a side hinged door and a fixed roof but here basically you've got the body in two separate parts you've got the lower part to which the engine and everything else is attached and you've got the, um, the hinging upper body with roof which is all in one piece it's a, it's a very cramped car uh, particularly when you're carrying a passenger um, it was described as the world's coziest courting car <laughs>